in this video, I kind of want to expand upon our pickup interface. Well, not pickup interface, but our uh, kind of our interactable class with our pickup option. And what I want to do is instead of actually picking the object up, I want to replace it. So when you press E on it, instead it adds it to your inventory, giving you the ability to, well, carry it and hold on to it. So the way we're going to do that is I want to have a dedicated actor component for this inventory. So I figured that would be a simple way to kind of express how it, well, just actor components. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to create the actor component, add it to our character, rewrite our pickup function, and uh, actually probably, now yeah, we'll leave the naming the same. You know, we're going to rewrite it to where it adds it to our inventory. Now we may not finish it in this video, but we're going to try to get as close as we can. So first things first, in the content browser, let's go to our C++ classes, find our public folder, and let's go ahead and create a new C++ class of the type actor component. I want to give this one a name of inventory component. Let's go ahead and create the class and wait for everything to reload inside of your IDE. Okay, so inventory component and inventory component. I'll go ahead and close down a lot of these things as they are unnecessary. But here we have it. So things we don't need. We don't need tick, so we can disable our tick and get rid of the functions, kind of like we do normally with certain things. And we want to go ahead and actually add it to our character. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and close down the editor, go to our beginnercharacter.h, and somewhere near the top where we have our other components, I want to do a U property, edit. Uh, let's do actually, I'm trying to think of anything. We may have some limits that we're going to add, so we'll probably do edit defaults only. Category equals, uh, let's do beginner inventory. Not sure why I did the curly braces. Let's do actually beginner tutorial inventory for the category. That way it's easy to find if we need it. So then it's just going to be a for dec declaration of U inventory component. Let's just call it inventory component. Now we head over to the .cpp and go all the way up to the constructor. Right here, I'm going to go right below our mesh 1p and do inventory component equals create default sub object of the type u inventory component and inventory component just like so so now we just want to make sure we include this class so we just simply do a hashtag include is it inventory component that h and we no longer need our interactable.h either, since I guess we're not using it. So now we are pretty much set up and good to go. We can go ahead and do a compile. And when we look at our character blueprint, we should see our inventory component where we can add, you know, custom information that we may want. And I'll show you what that would be here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and relaunch the project. And then we're going to load up our blueprint character. And here you can see we have an inventory component. So there's nothing special, you know, about it. So it really makes no difference what's even there. But we can add that information directly to the component. So for example, I want to add just one little control variable. I want to do a max items. So the max items is going to be, or let's say max items in inventory. So it's going to be a U property. So we can edit it through blueprint, edit defaults only, category equals beginner tutorial in the subsection inventory. So this is just going to be a simple int32, max items in inventory. 
come over here to the constructor and let's give this a default value of I don't know 10 or better yet five something small great now all we have to do let's go ahead and build which means I have to relaunch the editor and it's not going to allow me to do that because I have just closed it so let's go ahead and recompile one more time relaunch it and now when we look at our inventory component we should be able to see max items in inventory with the variable we used for the constructor so if i click on inventory component come down here here's our category beginner tutorial inventory max items and inventory now i don't know why i did this for the uh the category i think it was kind of dumb so i'm going to actually just simply rename it to inventory for the category especially considering it's just a simple uh what should we call it it's just a variable that we're going to edit once so and we can see it's set to five so that's great we have you know the info that we need now we need to figure out okay how can i store items on our character well this is not really going to be a property we you know edit obviously because when we walk around and we press e on an object such as this actor we want to be able to pick it up so that means we need a way to store it so the best way in my opinion to do that is just well let me rephrase that not the best way the easiest way because this is beginner focused is going to be just a t array that holds an array of pointers to an actor so to do that and i want this to be accessible from blueprint as well so i'm going to do a u property let's do blueprint read uh yeah, read only because i don't want to build a write to this array category equals now here i can do the beginner tutorial subsection inventory and i'll show you why here in a minute but first let's do a tra of type a actor let's do it uh, let's do uh we'll call it items so that's all it is Then i want to have a simple public function and i'm going to call it void add item to inventory and it's going to take in an actor and we're going to call it item we're going to generate the implementation and that's it so we're going to leave this for right now but instead i'm going to actually do a if item i want to print out its name so ue log log temp warning text picked up actor percent s and we're going to do item get name so now when we go to pick up the item and we should be able to see which item we're attempting to pick up in which case all we have to do is items dot add item and that's it so let's go ahead and Yes, recompile. So I'm going to close down the editor. Do a build. And then we are going to load it back up. And I want to show you something regarding the inventory component and the categories. Well, not inventory component, but the categories. So like why I'm labeling this one as inventory and this one as beginner tutorial with the subsection inventory. So when I click on inventory component, here we just have it labeled inventory. So here's all the variables we have related to the inventory. But if I drag this out, let me do a beginner tutorial. Well, I have this section here and I have the information related to inventory. So it's focused and it's just categorized. So if I search beginner tutorial, I can see everything that I might have for that section. So that's, that's pretty much why. So right now in our inventory component we have a function to add the item to our inventory and that's it we don't have a way to actually call this function to use it so let's go to where we have our interaction at so here's our interact we call grab actor and in here what we do is we check if it has the pickup interface if it does we call pickup so instead of actually calling pickup 
what we could do is we could either go to and well through this uh, pickup function and then make our way back to ourselves and then get our inventory component and then add it to the inventory component or since we're already checking if it contains the pickup interface all we have to do is inventory component add item to inventory just hit actor that's it or honestly if you really wanted to even though it doesn't not as clear you could just do interface actually scratch that yeah good point because that's of a different type so all we do is just add item to inventory so honestly we don't even need the functionality still in our interactable.cpp so we can comment out everything inside of this pickup if we wanted to but I don't I know what the hotkey is in Visual Studio. I don't know what it is in a writer <laughs> to do like a bulk comment of whatever your selection is. But anyways, it's going to add the item to our inventory. So actually we are going to modify it because when we do it, I want to call pickup. So let me open up the pickup interface dot h. I want it to take in no parameters. Instead, well now let's actually go over to our interactable. Find our pickup function, get rid of the parameter, and same thing in the .cpp, get rid of the parameter, and remove everything inside of it. So I also want to make it just return void, because I want no return type. So do the same thing in our pickup interface, and we're good to go. So we have void pickup. So when the item gets picked up, I want it to hide itself. So we're not going to do that in this video because I want to keep it short. So hide actor and disable collision, which indicates we have a way to pick it up. We need a way to drop it. So we can do in our pickup interface, virtual void drop and set that equal to zero because if we can pick it up, we need a way to drop it. So we're going to do in our interactable.h virtual void drop override that we set it up so we have to have the implementation which if you recall from the interface video we do that by setting it equal to zero so any actor that inherit or any class that inherits from our pickup interface we have to set or we have to define the function drop actor and enable collision so we have all that written out now the only thing we have left to do is just test it so we're going to go ahead and do a recompile and i'll do a quick little run through of what we did because honestly i've probably spent a good bit more time going back and forth but i want to do a brief overview of what we've done because it's it's really very very simple we reopen oh, we don't need to reopen it let's look at the log so now when i walk up this actor i press e picked up actor uh, bp interactable 2 press e bp interactable 2 so different actors and we are good to go All right, so now it should actually i'm curious do they do the same names yeah, differently, I guess. I don't know. Anyhow, that is all. So what what all is going on? What happens when we press E? When we press E, call interact. Well, let me rephrase that. Uh, do do do. We call interact, which calls if we're well if we're not holding an actor, we call grab actor, which performs a line trace. Gets the actor that we hit. If we hit any at all, if we did hit an actor, we see if it has the pickup interface. If it does, we simply add the actor to uh, to our inventory, like so, which we then simply add to an array that we have on our inventory component that we can access at any time. So that's literally it. So we can have, we're going to want to go ahead and actually call the other function, which was enter base up like so 
better yet, we pick up the item, then we add it to our inventory. So that's all we're doing. So this call right here is on our hit actor. So essentially we're just calling our pickup function, which in the future will hide the actor and disable its collision. That's it. We're going to end up doing the same thing for drop, but we don't have a way to drop it at the moment, so we're going to have to come up with some sort of solution for that. So pretty much we're going to be getting rid of our held actor altogether. So what I'm going to do is just simply change our interact function to call grab actor. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our release actor function. And uh, for now, let's actually, we got to clear that out of our header as well. Just remove release actor. Uh, eventually we will get rid of held actor, but not at the moment. So that is going to be all for this video. We simply add the item that we pick up to an array. We want to be able to disable that. Well, not disable that, but hide the actor that we pick up so that we cannot pick it up more than once, so to speak, or that it's just completely hidden out of the world. And eventually we will create a, just a small little widget that we can use to see what actors are in our inventory. And from there we can choose to drop them. So that'll be done in the future. Anyhow, that's the end of this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description where I have a dedicated Team Deathmatch series using Unreal Engine and C++ just for my Patreons. If you have any questions or anything like that, in the description, you can find a link to my Discord server as well, where you can ask any questions you may have, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. So, I will see you in the next video.